Hjemlængsel tager mit hjerte i sin varme hånd. Sødmefuld er min smerte kvidt i savnet hånd. Og når det så bliver aften, går jeg til hjemmeegnen hen. Just som den gang jeg træffede den, Fylder glæden mit sind Er du træt, trist og tvær Rejs mod dem, som du har kær Her skal vor kolde hjerter Varmes i hjemmeegnen skær
But war did come. Only a few months later, on April 9th, 1940, German forces crossed the Danish border. In towns like ours, German only a generation before, the occupiers were received warmly, and other towns with hostility. Within two hours, the government capitulated. Within four, the fighting stopped. The king gave a speech, urging calm and cooperation to avoid needless bloodshed. Most of us listened. For years, life moved along normally, if a bit uncertain. And some of us delayed our lives, waiting for the war to end. Only a few upstarts, mostly communists and young students, made trouble for the Germans with limited public support. But then, in 1943, the winds of war blew in from the east, and German supremacy no longer seemed assured. Then more Danes began to rise up, and the occupation became more violent. The Germans disbanded the Danish military, took over our police, and began shooting those who rose against them. But 
neither side had clean hands. The resistance executed informants, snitches and collaborators. Danes fought against Danes. Even in our little rural hamlet, the soldiers came. The Gestapo came. The war bared its bloody fangs. Abroad, German lines were collapsing, their forces folding under Allied advance. But our town was a powder keg ready to explode. We knew the war would be over soon. We only had to keep our heads down a little longer.
When the war came to Denmark, we were not forced out of our homes, and soldiers did not point their guns at us, but scarcity made itself known. Our lives became more muted, and our indulgences became more and more modest, until a pinch of sugar became a luxury. Still, we had a livelihood, and the simple pleasures of life remained to us, perhaps painted stronger than ever before. I knew the war had been harder on those abroad, but it was difficult to feel the impact from the comfort of a cosy hearth. I'm a little earlier than usual, but I'm sure the doctor won't mind. There are always patients who come knocking as soon as the cock crows.